Have you ever had days where all you wanted to do was lie down and do nothing? You felt like you've lost your sense of direction in life and didn't know what else to do? Of course you have, because we've all had our off days. We've all felt lazy, unmotivated, and uninspired from time to time. We live in such a cutthroat, hyper-competitive society that's so obsessed with the pursuit of wealth and success that it's made us feel guilty for the time we spend not earning money or doing something productive. Living a life with this kind of pressure can create a chronic level of stress if we constantly overwork ourselves and is bound to have some adverse effects on our mental and emotional well-being. But what if it's more than that? What if your laziness is more than just emotional burnout? What if it's already become something much more serious? Well, with that said, here are six warning signs to help you figure that out. Laziness can creep up on us when we have something important to do, or if we've been working ourselves too hard for too long. But depression? Depression isn't a choice, and it's definitely not something you can just shake off or get over. Oftentimes, depressive episodes reoccur throughout a patient's life, so months of therapy may be required. Another clear sign is you often struggle with feelings of unexplained loneliness, sadness, and hopelessness along with it. Not only are you exhausted and low in energy, but you also feel downcast and disheartened for reasons you don't understand. When you're battling depression, not even doing the things you used to love the most or spending time with your loved ones can make you feel better. If your laziness has made you lose motivation and interest in everything, not just school or work, then something can be seriously wrong. People suffering from depression tend to lose interest in their hobbies and emotionally withdraw from those around them. Do you feel that your laziness is getting out of hand? Has it become too much for you to manage? Is it getting in the way of your work? your school, or your personal life? If you answered yes to any one of these questions, then you may be dealing with depression, not laziness. Psychologists tend to look for the four Ds of abnormality. That is, deviance, distress, danger, and dysfunction. So if your laziness is significantly interfering with your everyday tasks and living your life, then it may be time to see a mental health care professional about it. Oftentimes, laziness manifests as procrastination and may be caused by a number of different reasons. Some believe it reflects a lack of self-esteem, while others would argue it's because of a lack of positive recognition by others. It could also be due to a lack of discipline, self-control, and interest. But what about depression? What brings about depression? Well, the truth is, psychologists don't really know. So if you're feeling down, disheartened, or feeling unenergetic all of a sudden, this may be the reason why. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, the key difference between depression and laziness is that laziness is changeable, while depression isn't. If you're feeling tired and unmotivated, you can do something about it. You can get some rest and try out different productivity hacks to help you get out of your funk. But with depression, it's not that easy. Anyone who's experienced clinical depression will tell you that if they had the choice to snap themselves out of it, they would do it in an instant. In fact, patients with depression often report feelings of extreme guilt, shame and helplessness as well. So don't ever say that anyone with depression is just doing it for attention. Mental illness is so much more than that. So do you relate to any of the signs mentioned here? Have you been feeling extremely lazy lately and wondering if anything is more serious? If you or anyone you know are experiencing serious feelings of depression, don't hesitate to reach out to a mental health care professional and get help today because the earlier we can diagnose depression, the easier it is to treat.